Isn't that a cute little mouse? That would make a perfect cat toy. So let's get going and make that one. We'll cast on using the drawstring method. So placing the slip knot over the holding peg, we'll start weaving in front and behind each peg. And then start knitting off all the pegs that have a loop. They're all done, so we might as well remove this from the holding peg towards the inside. This pattern calls for a one round of the double e-wrap stitch and then two rounds with the knit stitch. So we'll start with the double e-wrap which means we wrap the loom not just once but we'll wrap it twice. One more so that each peg has three loops. And then knit over two, over one. The next two rows knit and continue this pattern for about eight times. So in the end you'll have eight combinations of double e-wrap knit knit double e-wrap knit knit and end with a row of double e-wrap. And also when you're when you've done a few rounds you can pull um, your drawstring and close it up. I won't show you how since we covered that in another tutorial. I'll meet you then. Now that we have knitted eight combinations of knit knit double e-wrap knit knit double e-wrap etc. Now the time has come to shape the ears. Following the pattern first we'll knit seven pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we'll purl three. One, two, and a three, and from here on we'll go back and forth on these three pegs four times, going back in the knit stitch, one, two, and three. So that was the first combination. The second combination of one, two, and three purl stitches. And going back in the knit stitch. And the fifth and last series of three so three times purl and then three pegs in the knit
and then we'll continue to the other ear. So we'll do three more in the purl stitch. Then we'll knit four. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll shape the other ear, which means another series of five, uh, of three pegs in the purl stitch and going back three pegs in the knit stitch. Do that five times. And that concluded the fifth row. So finishing this, the rest of this row, purl three. And then finish the next seven with the knit stitch. knit in the round and then do one more row of the double E wrap so wrap twice and knit two over one now we can start shaping the bottom so we'll take loop number six and place it over number five. It's a bit tight, but it should work. There we go. And the same peg number 19 and bring that over number 20. And then we'll purl from number one to number five. Number five, pick up both loops. And then knit back. same in the other direction. So purl 5 again two together as one and knit back this once more so purl five in this direction knit back then purl five in this direction and knit back 
Now repeat this pattern so take the last loop on both sides bring them to the pig before that and then purl knit purl knit twice until you have only two loops left on each peg here so we'll continue using the purl stitch and going back in the knit stitch the purl stitch and again going back in the knit stitch repeat that move the two loops to the pegs before that etc etc until you have two left we're down to the last two pegs so we'll purl and knit this peg purl and knit this one too So we'll move the loop from peg 24 to peg number 1, knit them both, cut the yarn leaving a, a bit of a tail and then secure the yarn. but we're not done yet moving to the other side having finished this we'll do the same first we take a loop from both ends and move that towards the middle and we'll purl this row I created a slip knot so what I'll do is pick up the loop including the slip knot take it off and replace the slip knot on top of the peg and as I'm used to then I'll weave in the yarn the tail end of the yarn as we go if you know a better method you can use it and going back knit this row then do this once more and again start moving the outward pegs inward with each two rows until once again you have only two left in the middle and then bind off as you did with the other side and there she is our sweet little mouse so let's turn her inside out sew up the ears Sew up one uh, side and a little bit. Leave an opening so that you can turn her in outside in again or right side out I should say. And then we can stuff her with um, cotton or something that's pet safe. And it's time to stuff it. And here's a little trade secret. Hide this inside of your mouse and your cat will never let go of it. Miss Mouse is almost done. But of course everybody knows that real mice have a tail, eyes and whiskers. So we're not done yet. We'll need four rows 
of uh, flat panel e-wrap for the tail. So we'll cast on 24, we'll wrap 24 pegs, which is every one of them. But don't go in the round. Once you've reached the last peg, start wrapping around backwards as with the flat panel. And then knit an e-wrap of four rows. Now we'll do the same as when we create a brim. We'll pick up each bottom loop and bring that over the top, the, the peg. However, instead of knitting them over as we usually do, first we'll e-wrap a row so that each peg has three loops and then knit both bottom loops over the top one and then bind off using your preferred flat panel method either the crochet or as I like to do the knit method mouse ever. Do you like her Mickey? Oh your new best friend eh? Yeah. Cute. 